Hello everyone, welcome back to HTM YouTube channel. My name is Almati Asari and today I would like to share a little bit about two traditional cakes from South Kalimantan, which is called uh, Amparan Tata and Pokal Bingka. Uh, I hope you can learn something fun today and enjoy the videos. So the first cake is Amparan Tata. Amparan Tata is, tra is traditional cake from Banjarmasin. This type of cake is considered as a moist cake with the main ingredients such as rice flour, coconut milk, sugar, and also bananas. The taste of this uh, cake is dominated by the savory yet sweet flavors of the cake. Amparan Tatak is one of the most highly anticipated cakes, especially during Ramadan. Historically, the Amparan Tatak was served only to the nobility of the kingdom of Banjarmasin and also the Hak Kingdom. However, now this cake can be enjoyed by anyone and it has become one of the culinary cultural heritage of South Kalimantan. The name of Hamparan Tatak was come from of how the way the cake is being served. During the process of making the cake, the cake dough is placed in a large round baking dish and after it is well cooked, the cake is served in the form of hamparan or a spread of on top of a banana leaf. While tatak means to cut, so before we serve the cake, it is need to be cut beforehand. So therefore, it is called as hamparan tatak. So, uh, what interesting about this cake is that there is a belief from the Banjar society to the woman that if they want to make the traditional Banjar cakes, it is better that they not making the cakes during their menstrual cycle, uh, because they believe that if uh, this kind of uh, belief is violated the consequences will be either the cake will be damaged or the taste of the cake will be changed to make amparan tatak all you need is plantain fruit or buah pisang raja rice flour sugar coconut milk vanilla and also pandan leaves it is for the first layer and for the upper layer all you need is rice flour coconut milk and also salt to make amparan tatak is first boil the coconut milk along with sugar, salt, and the pandan leaf until it spoils. After that, put the sugar and also the eggs in one bowl and mix them until both ingredients is well mixed. After that, put the flour and then mix it all together. After we have seen it well mixed, we put the coconut milk that already been boiled earlier. After that, cut the bananas and also put it inside the dough and then steam it for about 15 minutes. And for the upper layer is all you need the coconut milk, rice flour and salt in a saucepan and then mix it. After that, we also put the pandan leaves on the saucepan and then boil the three ingredients until it bursts of foam. After that, pour all of the both ingredients on top of the first layer and then steam it for about uh, 20 minutes. After about 20 minutes, the Amparan Tata cake is ready to be served. The second cake is Bingka. Bingka is one of the traditional cake as well that comes from South Kalimantan. This cake is liked by many, not only by the people of Banjarmasin itself, but also uh, it is one of the most tried cakes by the tourists during their visit in Banjarmasin. There are many variants of this bingka, such as bingka kentang or potato bingkang and also egg bingka. Historically, the bingka cake recipe originated from Putri Junjung Bui, who was the princess from the King Daha. She is also the ancestor of the Sultan Suryansa, who was the king of Banjar Kingdom. Uh, at that time, Putri Junjung Bui made uh, the bingka cakes only to be served to the nobles and it is only can be eaten by the aristocrats. The sweet taste of bingka cake is said to have its own philosophy. Back in the old days, most of the Banjaris people work as a farmer. And as a farmer, they need an additional energy intake. Therefore, many said that the sweet taste of bingka cake was anciently aimed for the additional energy for the people. To make bingka cake, all you need is sugar, salt, chicken eggs, wet flour, pandan leaves, boiled coconut milk, vanilla powder, and also margarine. To make bingka cake, first cook the coconut milk, salt, pandan leaves, vanilla in a pan, and then wait until it boils and shrink. After that, put the flour, salt, sugar, eggs in one bowl, and then mix with a whisk until all of the ingredients is well mixed. 
Next is to pour the dough on the pan and bake the dough in the oven for about 45 minutes. After 45 minutes bakes, wait until it's a little bit cooler and the bingka is ready to be served. So these are the two from many other traditional cakes that is worth to explore in South Kalimantan. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next video.